there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I have uh, quite a bit of paraphernalia in front of me and uh, two bottles of port. Uh, the reason I've got paraphernalia is uh, I've been sent quite a few little gifty type items by a company called Wine Gift Centre. So I thought uh, I might as well demonstrate them in action um, and uh, while opening two bottles of port, which I've got to do for tasting I'm doing this evening. Now, normally I, I, when I open bottles, I've got, if I've got loads to do, I use one of these lever scruples and... Uh, uh, oh, no, it's not a scruple, it's an imitation scruple which I picked up cheap off eBay and uh, they last me about uh, a couple of years and then I throw them away and get a new one. Uh, but, uh, I don't have one of those today, uh, I've got uh, a corkscrew, corkscrew is useful. I've, I've brought one that was sitting there in the, uh, in the kitchen drawer. Now, what you might see from this is it's got, um, it's got only what I call one lever on. So I will demonstrate and see what the, uh, show you what the difference is. I'll stick one corkscrew in, and then I'll stick the other one in, and then you'll be able to see uh, why uh, I prefer ones that have got two levers in. So this one goes in. It's a rather pretty corkscrew, and it feels uh, very nice. It's got a nice wooden handle. But when I get to there, that's when I have to do this levering bit. And um, it's, it's slightly awkward, and you have to be quite strong to do it. I am strong, so I, I will be able to do it quite well. If you've got, this is, this is the one that the Wine Gift Centre uh, sent me and uh, I've managed to get it out of its, uh, out of its wrapper, uh, which is, no, come on you little git, right, out you come. Um, so, this one here, uh, it's got an extra little bit which will provide me with extra leverage when it comes to uh, the, the important bit of starting squeezing, uh, squeezing the first cork out. So I'll stick this one in. And uh, you might be able to see what the difference is between the two. Um, who said wine videos could be, uh, uh, were boring? Just the thought of someone opening two bottles of wine, it's sort of fascinating, isn't it? So if you, will, if you can just see from the angle of it, this one, I'm not gonna get as much leverage from that there. So when I do this, it, it comes out okay, but um, it's because I'm a strong young man-ish. Uh, and then I have to do a little bit of pulling and it, it does come out. Uh, whereas this one, uh, I, I, I think it's got two little bits of lever. I can do it on that bit first. So I'll do that bit and then half the cork comes out there. And then you move it up so it can sit on the next ridge down and far less effort required. Uh, but thankfully they both came out without splitting in two. Uh, now, when you come to, I mean, these, these, these ports, they are, uh, they're late bottle vintage. Well, they're both the same one. It's, uh, it's Ramos Pinto, uh, late bottle vintage, 2011, 2011 but unfiltered. So, um, I have got a uh, filtering funnel, so I'm going to uh, use that. It's got a nice little uh, um, mesh inside, uh, just in case any corks have gone in or any bits of sediment were still hanging around in, in the bottom. Uh, and rather than just sort of tip it in there, I suppose I could, it's gone in, into the top of a, a funnel. But this, these are one of my favorite inventions, drop stops. Um, they're, uh, you, you, once you've used them, you think, why on earth did I ever use, bother using anything else? They're little, little uh, plasticized disc, I think, I think the core of it's plastic, but they've got some sort of inert, vaguely metallic covering. Stick it in there. And the beauty of them is, uh, you know when you're pouring wine and you, you pour and then you put the bottle back up and there's a dribble that goes down the side. With the drop stops, you don't get that. So let's um, stop pouring and see where we get to. And um, there shouldn't be any sediment in here. Um, and it, it's been standing up for not all that long, a couple of hours. Uh, normally, if I've got um, vintage ports or uh, LVBs at home, I want to stand them up a day, ideally two or three days in advance. Um, so it's all clear so far, making a rather nice noise, which probably you can't hear on camera because I'm waffling away. Uh, and just be interesting to see, now we're getting near the bottom. I'm just going to keep pouring and, um, and to be honest, there's hardly any sediment in there. But that one, that made for really good, uh, really good visuals, didn't it? But, Never mind, it, 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 okay, it, I'm, I'm going to pour that back into the bottle and we, we're going to serve it from the bottle later on. Um, and, but for, for, if you've got, if you've got uh, older ports, uh, first of all, the, the, one of the problems is that the corks don't come out cleanly, so you're often left with little bits of, uh, of cork in the, uh, in the wine and this mesh will, will stop those getting in there. 
Um, the second thing is sediment. Uh, now, port throws lots and lots of sediment. It's got uh, heaps and heaps of colour, and uh, it's got lots of tannin, and that's what a lot of the, uh, uh, the, the sediment is, it consists of. So, um, uh, yeah, so, so it, it, these things are, are really useful uh, if you've forgotten to stand your, your, uh, your wine up properly, and if you don't have a butler to do it. I'm afraid that I don't have a butler. Uh, in fact, if I had a butler, I'd be able to say to him, uh, excuse me, Jeeves, uh, I've left my wine glass on the other side of the room. Could you go and fetch it for me? And he'd go and get it for me. But it's behind the camera, so I'm just going to go and grab it. In the meantime, here is some music. OK, that was quick, wasn't it? Uh, so let's try this wine. Uh, Ramos Pinto LBV 2011. Uh, give it a whirl. It smells dark, young, juicy, lots of berries. A um, bit of uh, black currant in there. Some damsons. It smells. It, it smells of warm earth. There's a dark, dusty intensity about it that makes you think. Yes, it's going to be good now, but uh, I think uh, I think it's going to have benefited from uh, uh, from this little bit of aeration. But so it's going to be even better later. So a bit of a puff at the moment. And the other thing I've left behind the camera is my spittoon. So I've been forced to swallowing swallow that wine, which was uh, actually no hardship at all because it's rather tasty. Um, there is this juicy, round, plump plumminess. Lots of those dark, fleshy flavours. Um, there's a herby character that comes through. But all the way through it, um, yes, there's a little bit of sweetness, almost an only type of sweetness. Um, but there is this uh, backbone of fresh acidity and firm but never aggressive tannin. And um, yeah, it's, it's really tasty. Uh, I mean, I dig into it now with chocolate pudding, or I'd, uh, uh, or maybe some Stilton or something like that. Christmas cake. If, if you, you get to the end of uh, uh, of Christmas dinner and you're still uh, thinking, I'm still feeling a little peckish, uh, but um, but yes, and, and because it's LBV, LBV has been bottled uh, after a slightly longer in barrel, maybe twice as long in barrel as vintage port. So it's done quite a bit of its maturing. So there's no, you don't need to. Uh, rush to drink it, well you, know, you don't need to rush to drink vintage port, but I'd say if you opened a bottle of vintage port, get into it and uh, aim to get through it in two or three days. Here, um, yes it's unfiltered, so there's still why there's still some uh, evolving uh, going on, uh, but yes I'd say you've got a couple of weeks and uh, it will, it, for, for a young vintage like this you might actually find that the last few glasses are better than the first few, um, but um, it's a it tasty wine. Uh, hopefully, my demonstration of the uh, uh, of, uh, of the various effects was um, enough to persuade you to go and uh, go out and buy some of them. Because I mean, uh, yes, bottle of wine makes a great gift, but uh, sometimes it's not very practical to send something like that uh, uh, through the post. Or if you, there's someone you like, uh, really like, uh, but they're not that major a friend that you want to spend twenty or thirty pounds on a bottle of wine. Some of these gifts, uh, they're easy to package, shove in the post and show that you're thinking of them. I'm thinking of you, dear viewers. I will see you again soon.